Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Stitching with Sue is here to share with you another fun project. So um, I want to thank everybody and all my new subscribers and those of you that have been following me. And uh, just thanks so much for coming back and supporting my channel. Really, really do appreciate it. So if you are new here, um, my name is Sue and I am... Um, well, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, but I also enjoy machine embroidery. So this channel is devoted, right now, it's devoted to sewing, unboxings, machine embroidery, and things like that. So I know how many of you love free designs. So I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's a company called Dime. It's D-I-M-E designs in machine embroidery and they have a Facebook page they have an online store they have a YouTube channel and what they do is Eileen Roche um, puts out every single week a free design I know and on Thursdays I believe it's two o'clock Eastern time anyhow check them out on Facebook they do a live um very informative, um, what do I want to call it? Very informative uh, Facebook Live going over all sorts of topics. And for this month of the year 2022, Eileen Roche is coming out with a free design every single week. And the last um, Thursday of the month, she comes out with a design that is an actual project. So every week you'll get um, like a, a design that you can use. It's absolutely free. And you can go back and check all the weeks that you've missed. And um, like I said, the last week she, uh, the last week of the month, she does an actual design. So where am I going with all this? Well, I'm going um, back in, I believe it was January. Um, she did a design with a stitch out for a bowl cozy. And um, I'm not really sure if you're going to be able to see this. I will put a, um, oops, uh, it's a real cute little bowl cozy. And it's all quilted and it's very easy to put together. It's great for a beginner. Now there is a whole, um, let me move you over here. There is a whole design. So here is, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but here is the design. Now it's sideways. So it's a cute little heart. And then around here is the actual bowl cozy. So you can stitch out the heart. Total with stitching out the heart in the center is 28 minutes. But I'm going to just use, I'm going to move you back over here now. I'm just going to use um, fabric and I'm going to skip the heart embroidery, okay? So I have this really fun fabric that I got actually, oddly enough, let me get my hoop in here, um, through Amazon, like really. I mean, did you know that Amazon has fabric? And it was a whole bundle of fabric, all patriotic, and I thought this would be perfect because I had put on my Facebook page, uh, Stitching with Sue, that the next project was going to be, let me just readjust you. I have my other camera holder here, but it's just a matter of readjusting to get the right thing. And once I moved it, I mean, I thought I had the perfect, but when I moved it to show you the, um, and then it likes to move a little bit. So just close your eyes for just a second if you get dizzy with this. And I should have never moved it. Okay, let's leave it. Let's leave it there. I feel like it's moving. Okay, so um, I got this bundle of fabric. It's all patriotic. And I thought this would be fun to do bowl cozies. So if you don't know what a bowl cozy is, it's an actual little cozy that you put your bowl in. Now, a lot of people like to microwave them. I don't um, because the fabric and um, the type of batting you may use, you know, it could be tricky with that. But I like to, you know, put my bowl in the freezer. I mean, in the, yeah, in the microwave. When I take it out, I put it in the cozy and then I could carry it. Or maybe I want to sit and watch it in front of a YouTube video or something. I can do that. I also like it because these are like a perfect size for a little pint um, ice cream, you know, like the Ben and Jerry's and that you can put your little, um, ice cream 
the whole container, because you know, that's one serving, right? The whole container inside here and then take it wherever you go and you don't have to worry about your hand being frozen, right? And you can flip them in inside out so you can be in either way. And um, anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and do the design. I'm also going to uh, move you on over to my sewing machine to show you how easy this is to put together. And why do I feel like you have slipped down once again? So there we go. Okay, so I am doing in the 9 by 8 hoop. I believe it's an 8 by 8 size. Now, those of you that have a 4 by 4 hoop, you can still do this. You just have to do uh, two separate hoopings. You have to move it. But it, it can be done. And Dime is really great in that they give you step-by-step -step directions on how to even put this together. But I've sewn with my regular sewing machine bowl cozies. And if you've done that, you know, eh, they're kind of a pain to do. But this is all done in the hoop other than putting it together with your sewing machine. So I have um, Cutaway Stabilizer. I have this new batting that I've been buying. Well, let me grab it so I can share it with you. It's called uh, Dream Cotton, Quilter's Dream Cotton. It's 100% pure cotton batting. And um, I got it through Amazon, and it says quilts like a dream. Um, no serum, glue, or binders. Okay, so if you wanted to put this in the microwave, you can. Now, they do recommend for the microwave, you know, um, cotton, everything cotton. But... I don't recommend using cotton thread in your embroidery machine only because it just causes a lot of lint and buildup. So um, Eileen Roche said she uses um, her regular embroidery thread and um, puts her little bowl in the microwave and reheats something with her cozy in the microwave and doesn't have any problem. So I'm just going to say I'll leave that up to you what you want to do. Um, just do a test. Um, you don't, you certainly don't want to catch your house on fire, you know, reheating something up. Um, did I rethread, did I thread my machine? No, I did not. Okay. So that's my layering. I have, again, um, cutaway stabilizer in the hoop and I have the, uh, batting in the hoop and my fabric cut right on top. And, um, let's go ahead and get the design going. So if you're just going to do the actual quilting design, you need to make two of these. You need to make a top and a bottom. And just to do the quilting design is five minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, perfect, 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 perfect for those of you that are brand new. So I have my layer down and you're just going to, I have white uh, bottom thread on the bottom. Oops. Let me just um, fix that a little bit white bobbin thread on the bottom i think we'll be fine with that and i'm just using um a red my red embroidery thread on top now you probably should iron your fabric you know me i'm just i'm just wanting to do the stitching part i'm not wanting to do oh what happens here you guys are missing it off oh my gosh i need to get myself situated with a new setup here and until i do I feel like the the weight of my uh, phone is, um, hold on a second, the weight of my phone is making this um, holder fall down. Okay. So I feel like you're not getting a good view of this. Oh gosh, the struggle of, of getting the right view, right? It's all about the view because if you can't see what I'm doing, let's try that. I don't know what is here in the way. Okay. All right, there we go. We'll stick with that. It's just literally stitching a design on it. And I will show you the design better um, once we move over to my sewing machine, which will be another setup. So I apologize for all this. I know. Please don't leave me negative comments. Um, you know, I, I grew up where um, my my parents taught us if you don't have nothing good to say you know you, you probably shouldn't say anything so I mean hey any of you have that have ever done YouTube channels and have ever done things like this you know the struggle so anyhow um, I hope you're all doing well 
and um, I thought this was a fun project that um, anyone can do if you have an embroidery machine. Certainly if you have a larger than 4x4 hoop, it's much easier, but 4x4 um, four four hoop owners, you can still do it, but like I said, it requires uh, multiple hoopings. So definitely check the instructions that come with the download. I will put the link where you can get this um, absolutely free. And um, if you try it out, I would love to know how it worked for you. Because I think you you can all do it. You can all do this. It's, it's very easy to do. So it's just doing the really fun quilting design. I'm hoping my hoop's not going to hit my camera because it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty close there. It's right underneath the wire. So there you go. You're getting a good view of it now from what I'm seeing on my side. So it's just doing this, the quilted design on here. Whoops. Let me just pick this up for a second until it gets through this certain area where it won't be hitting the uh, holder for the camera. But I don't know about you guys, but when you're doing your embroidery, does it just kind of, you just love to just sit and watch it? Oh my gosh, I absolutely do. Oh, and those that watched um, my um, the cat quilt block video, I want to tell you, I stayed up till 1 o'clock and I finished that cat quilt. I was determined um, that I wanted to get that finished. And I sewed it all together. I put a, a border on it. Um, my binding skills are getting much better. Um, I'm not um, very good in um, learning how to bind things, but um, I'm just taking every quilt that I do, my binding skills are getting better and better. So it, it all has to do, I believe, with the ironing and pressing. And um, yeah, I'm pretty thrilled how it turned out. Go on over to my Facebook page, uh, Stitching with Sue. You'll be able to see a picture of it and how it all turned out. And um, I'm really thrilled with it. Really, really thrilled. And um, even the designer, I, I sent her the link for the video. She watched the video. She loved that I was able to share it with all of you. And she actually subscribed to my channel. So isn't that fab? I'm very excited for that. I know I'm kind of moving this because I'm kind of holding it right now so that you all can see. Um, so thanks everybody that um, left comments and um, gave me the likes and the shares and uh, new subscribers thanks for coming along on this embroidery journey now I am NOT a professional by any means you could probably tell I'm not definitely not a professional camera person but um, I'm just sharing what I learn as I go just like many of you um, you may not have access to um, anyone showing you how to do things so as I'm doing and learning I'm enjoying sharing it all with you so we're coming down to the wire now just going to do some final little stitches and um, and then we'll be done but like I said this first step is uh, five minutes and if you choose to go ahead and do the embroidery design that would be continuing on uh, let's see so five to it would be about 23 minutes stitch but I just want to warn you there are a lot of color changes but I have seen it done and it's absolutely beautiful it's a beautiful beautiful heart with um, embellishments all around it all different colors so it'd be good on a solid fabric so there we go folks I'm oh, sorry now my cat decides she's going to rub the pole that is holding the camera so there we go okay let me let go of this Okay, Dory, um, the folks don't want you to knock them, knock them over on the floor. All right, let me try to do this one-handed. Okay, so now here's the screen. Let me move you over to the screen. So you'll see on the screen, if you can, um, I know the screen is kind of tilted. That's the way the machine is made. So if you want to go back and do another one, which is what I recommend, just go down to here, plus and minus little spool on here. Hit the minus and it will go back to the beginning of the design, if you can see it. And what will happen then, you can just pop in, pop this out of your hoop, pop in another stabilizer, batting, and fabric, and go ahead and make your second one. I have a second one already made, 
So I did that ahead of time because no sense in you watching me do two of them. And I'm going to move you all over here to my sew machine. So close your eyes while I do so. Don't mind the mess. Do not mind the mess. All right. Let me try to set you up here. You know what I think? I think my pole like dropped or something. Let me set you up here to my other desk. I think this wants to fall over on my car bed. I probably should invest in another camera. Let me grab some to put it on the base of the stand. There we go. Okay. All right. Let me go over and get my hoop. Let me move my coffee and everything out of the way. My stabilizer, my llama mama. Okay. So here are two. I know you're like, we can't see. Okay. So here are two that I already stitched out. Okay. I did the stars and then I did one on the bottom. Let me grab the um, actual bowl cozy because now I can kind of show you a little better. So here's the bowl cozy. Here's the bottom. And um, here's what it looks like. And you would just go ahead and if this was, you know, your bowl, you would just put your bowl in there and then you'd be able to just carry it where you want to go. You can turn it the other direction as well. So maybe it got a little messy and you wasn't, you weren't ready to do wash yet. You can go ahead, put your bowl in there or, you know, this would be great to put on your desk if you um, want to hold your clips or any of your sewing things that you have. It would be great for that. And I think for now, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I have these two I've already done. I'm going to get my scissors. I'm going to pop this out of the hoop. As we are done with that. I'm going to put my hoop over here. So now what you have is this quilted piece. Let's show the back. Here's the back with all the quilting. So what you wanna do now, and I find it easier to do it on the back side because I can see better, is you're going to trim all the way around your bowl cozy. Now I would recommend leaving an area um, of some of the batting and fabric so that when you go to turn it, it'll make it a little easier. But I'm just gonna use my scissors and I'm just going to trim around. Now I'm gonna go over here on this area now I'm going to kind of leave myself a little border. And I don't know if you can see. First off, I'm just going to trim all the way around about a quarter of an inch. That's pretty much all you need for that. Sometimes this is when um, having a second person that lives with you help out with the video camera because they can go ahead in and... Um, move things around but I'm a one woman show here okay so these little areas here that have this little triangle oh gosh it looks like you moved again <sighs> um you're going to cut these out okay see how it has that little triangle it stitches up and in you want to cut those out because that's where we're going to be doing some sewing And I will try to reposition you um, at my sewing machine where you'll be able to see. It's very difficult. Um, before I had an overhead view. And I'm almost thinking I want to move my, my table back over where it was with the overhead view. But that would involve a lot of extra work. <laughs> okay, let me just trim that. But I think you all can get the gist of this. Let me move all this excess out of the way. And it is. I swear. I'm telling you. You guys, are you all moving down or what? What is this thing doing? Please. Okay. So here we have our cut piece. Now what you want to do is you want to fold where that um, cut piece is right here. And you're going to stitch. And it almost has the... Uh, the um, stitching lines there. I'm just stitching right over the top of those. So um, let's kind of move you over here. Kind of, sort of. 
and let me get myself situated. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to get it started. And I'm going to want to back backspace a little bit. And I'm going to stitch right along that line. I know you rarely see me doing any kind of stitching right on my machine. And you're getting a little glare from the window. Let me see if I can fix that. It's a bright sunny day here. Let's see if that's any better. Not sure if it is. <sighs> okay. All right. So there we have our stitch. Okay. So we're, we have that stitch down, right sides together. We're going to go along all of these um, triangle areas. And you're just going to stitch the two together, right sides together. And I don't even pin this or um, clip this because you don't ha really have to. It's just that little tiny bit of stitching that you're doing. You make sure you reinforce. You go back and forth over that. Go ahead, bring your second one in. You're going to do the same exact thing. And I like to start on the outside and, and stitch my way in inward. Down to that corner and back space. Probably could have done this second one ahead of time, but I wanted to show you the whole process of how it all goes together. Okay, so then you have your two bull cozies. What you want to do is you're going to put them right sides together, so they're going to So you're going to put them right sides together, match your points. Let me start here because that's where my, um, you're going to have to leave an opening. So that's where my opening is going to be. I'm going to get my clips and I'm going to clip going all the way around. Now I'm not worrying about um, matching up my stitching front to back because I cut it at about a quarter of an inch. And I'm just going to, when I stitch it together, I'm just going to stitch right along that line. But I'm going to put my points together. And um, I love using these wonder clips. I do use pins as well. But what happens to me with pins is, you know, I poke myself all the time. And that's not good. You definitely don't want to be bleeding all over your project. So I'm just matching up the two pieces here, top and bottom. Just putting a clip there. And okay, so now I'm at the point where I have that extra that I left. So that's where my opening is going to be. So this one, let me bring it up closer to my face so I can see. So I can make sure I align that up. And again, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is handmade. You don't have to worry about being perfect. And I do apologize. Um, I'm having a little bit of a flare up this weekend. I did some yard work and um, my arthritis in my hands is really giving me a run for the money. Okay, so this is where I'm going to leave it open and um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bring it to my sewing machine and I'm going to start right about here. Let me see if I can see. And I'm going to take my clips out as I go. I'm going to 
Now you won't be having this much trouble because you won't be making a video. Or maybe it will be. I'm trying to show folks how to put this all together. So it'll be a little easier for you guys. So I'm just gonna stitch all the way around. Now when I go to turn, make sure you, if you can set your sewing machine needle to automatically um, stay down in the fabric, that's your best bet for this. Take my clips out as I go. And you're gonna stitch these two uh, squares together. out as you go I live close by to the river and it's um it's a beautiful Sunday morning and I'm already hearing the um, boats going up the river people going fishing All right. I think I'm gonna have a little wrinkle in there but okay we're just gonna work with it I'm gonna do just a little turn here and then end my stitching Okay, so we have it all sewn together. You get to see my lovely craft room. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna turn this right side out. Now what I found is if I kinda of didn't leave myself too much of an opening there, I'm just gonna go with my um, seam ripper. And it is a tight squeeze, I'm gonna be honest with you, it is tight. So I'm gonna kinda of just snip a few of those stitches and just make it easier for myself. And what we're gonna do is we're going to turn it right side out. Take your time with this. Because like I said, it is a tight squeeze, but once you get it going, then you're good to go. I like to use this little purple thing to um, get my corners out. I use my finger first to kind of get myself where I, Oh, see, I missed a spot there. Right there, I got a hole. So I'm gonna have to go back in, but I'll go and do that later. Well, I missed a spot there too. See, it's hard to, to do this with you guys there. But I will go back, I'll turn this back right side out, and I will go and fix all that and restitch it. But poke out your corners. Okay, just like that. And um, let me turn it this way here. And then all you're gonna do is just fold in that area where you left the opening. And you can either use a uh, fabric glue or you can um, go ahead and stitch it, which is all I, that's what I did on mine, is I just turned that all in and just did a little bit of hand stitching. Let's see, where's the opening even? I just did it. Oh gosh, I can't even find it. Oh, right there. I just did it right there. Just did a little hand stitching to close that opening. And then um, your bowl cozy is done. So it's a really fun project. Again, try not to be doing a video and stitching, you know, close by when you're doing it. I'm gonna turn this back wrong side out so I can go along my seams again and um, make sure I got them all put together. But I promise you, it's it's an easy project. It's something that's fun. You can make up a whole slew of these um, in an afternoon, but do the process of, you know, embroider them all, cut out your fabric, cut out all the things you need to, to make them, embroider them all, stack them all up, and then go sit at your machine, uh, your sewing machine, and stitch them all together. 
Okay, we got that all back situated. Okay, so um, I'm going to end now. So I hope you give it a try. Definitely check it out. And um, when I finish here, I'm going to go back and reinforce all of my stitching where I'm underneath my machine and I can see it, not at an angle. So I hope you give it a try. It's a lot of fun and they make a great gift. Um, if you're having parties in the summer, you can make the patriotic theme ones or you can make them for all seasons. Have them in your kitchen, um, bundle up a bunch of them, make great Christmas gifts. You know, the fabric's your limit. If you want to do the stitching of the heart in the center, you can do that. You can personalize it. Um, you can use your embroidery machine, we all know, to personalize anything. You could use it on your um, sewing desk to hold some of your notions and potions. And um, they stack together really nice like this. So in the cabinet, you can just stack up a whole bunch of them. And um, hey, that's even fun if you put two together like that. You could put a little lining of maybe a napkin and put a little snack in there or um, some little treats in there on your holiday table. Uh, the sky's the limit as to what things you can do with it, but it's super cute, super fun, and I hope you give it a try. Thanks so much for being with me here today. If you like what you see, or maybe if you don't and you just want to be nice, be sure to hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe, and best of all, um, share this with others so that they can fi find the fun in a machine embroidery and sewing. And until I see you next time, have a wonderful day. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.